Please welcome five-time Grammy Award winner, Madonna. <laughs> you in the building and we just showed it to them uh, that was incredible that's Thank a, you. It, now what does that feel like first of all what does it feel like moments before you gone what what's your thought process um well right before I gone I'm always I'm always saying prayers just to remember everything mm -hmm. remember my words remember my dance steps don't trip and fall look like a fool I know I, yeah. especially in those were you in those shoes um that's insane yeah there I I, I tried <laughs> I try to wear the most dangerous footwear possible. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so you're, you're saying prayers, and then you go out there, and do you just zone out and, and just... I, I try to find somebody in the audience to, to connect to. Did you find somebody? Yeah, I did. Who was it? Um, a, a man screaming hysterically. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, so now, so you get off, and then... Uh, and I get off. This, yeah, then you get off. <laughs> Let's stick to the, the music first, and then we'll get to that. So, okay. <laughs> so, so then you get off stage, and then how? What? What are you? And then I can't. Then I can't believe it went by so fast. Mm -hmm. it, it's sort of. I want to go back and do it all over again. Uh huh. Yeah. Because you're playing every single thing that, well, that just, just happened. To do one song in an award show always freaks me out because when it's over with, I can't. I was like, wait a minute. It ha I, I, did I just do it? That was mm -hmm. the rehearsal. Let me go back and do it again. Right. Yeah. And now, how long have you been working on that performance? Um, for a month because we had to film all the stuff that happened in the beginning that with was the gorillas. Cool. Yeah, it looked really good. Yeah, it very. Because like, yeah, I thought that was going to be you and you were going to step out of oh, that good, somehow. Oh, we tricked you. Yeah, you did. Excellent. It, and not too many people trick me. Yeah, that's so what you they did. say. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> they, so they've told you. And uh, <laughs> and now I changed right before you went on stage. Thank God, because we mm. would have had the same outfit. Really. <laughs> But I noticed you have some crystals on your jacket. I do. I have a little crystals That's on nice. my jacket. nice. I like that. So everybody wants to know, and I know you, you talk about this all the time, but I was talking to people before the show, and LL Cool J, who is in great shape, said, ask you how you stay in such great shape. And I, are you sick of talking about that, or? Um, no. Well, uh, go ahead, ask me. OK, how do you stay in such great shape? <laughs> like, first it was running, right? Um, I, I fell off a horse and broke nine bones. And, uh huh. Yeah, and it didn't do anything. Yeah, let's talk about that first. Then <laughs> the the horse situation. How long have you been riding? Because I just started riding. Um, I've only seriously been riding for a year. Okay. Yeah. And and what did the horse do? That it wasn't my horse that threw me. It was somebody else's. <laughs> so you then that must have freaked you out because yeah you work out and you're suddenly you broke what yeah. did, what did you break everything? I broke my scapula, my collarbone, five ribs, and my uh, left my knuckle. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so then what did you do to work well, out? Well, then I sort like of that? didn't do anything for a month. And yeah. it, was, it was strange. I like shriveled away. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> and then I had to start all over again and invent a whole new workout. Hey, well, you look, I mean, you look amazing. I, I can't, you know, it's, it's incredible. All right. We have to take a break. Um, I want to talk about, because there's all these rumors now. Because looks aren't everything, anyway. What? Looks aren't everything. Oh, don't I know it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Madonna. <laughs> Madonna, was, Madonna was just saying that, uh, you know, she doesn't watch television. She was saying she's never seen the show before. Uh, and uh, you would like the show, though. You really would like it. And I'm glad that you're on it, even though you hadn't seen it and you're trusting me. I am trusting but do you. But uh, do you watch anything on television? I mean, uh, you watch no. movies, but do you, have you watched a show, actually? I watch stuff on DVD. Mm-hmm. You know, like The Sopranos or... Mm-hmm. Um, do you ever see The Office? Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. The yeah. new one here is, is good, too. Is it? Steve Carell's, uh, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. I'll send you some DVDs of my show if okay. you watch DVDs. All right. Yeah. All right. I'll send, uh, I'll send you some DVDs of my children. I would like to see them. 
they're smart as can be and Thank adorable. You. Thank you. I don't know if you saw the, uh, it was on MTV a while ago and I just finally got a chance to see it. Uh, I'll Tell You a Secret I'm is the name of it. I'm going to tell you a secret. I'm going to tell you a secret and uh, God, just Lourdes is as smart as a, uh, amazing. And then little Rocco is laughing yeah. at her jokes. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> he really is funny. Yeah. And looks just like Guy. Yes. Exactly. So tell me this because now there's rumors, uh, clear this up. Uh, okay. It's it's talking about you and Guy. Uh, let, me see. let me see how good we look together. It's good. Yeah, oh, not bad, not bad. Yeah, that's a good one. He should he should have shaved. He should have shaved. I like him like that. Do he you? looks a little kind of rough and uh, so so they're saying that y'all split up. Is there anything? What's going on? Um, really, we split up. That's what they say. Okay. Well, he's still calling me every five minutes. So. Okay. <laughs> Is he here? Is he in town? No, he's in um, he's in London. Is that hard? If you're, I mean, do you spend much time apart? Um. Well, sometimes. I mean, he works and I work, and we can't always coordinate our working schedules And what's together. the longest you've been apart? Uh, the longest? Mm -hmm. um, two weeks, about five years ago. Was really? The, yeah. And then now it's never more than a week. That's great. Now, is he doing this, uh, is he into Kabbalah like you, or would that be a problem if he wasn't? Oh, no. No problem at all. Uh, he, I, he, I would say he studies, but probably not as... Um, as uh, uh, enthusiastically as I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, he does in his own way. He's into the more intellectual side of it than I am. But as long as you both agree in the same kind of what life is all about and what your outlook is, right? Yeah. I mean, the main thing is about is it just, I mean, the uh, agreeing that, you know, first of all, we have to agree on, on how we raise the children. That's, mm -hmm. that's a big one. That would be I'd, really hard. Yeah. But I didn't meet him and say, oh, you have to believe in the same things I believe. And mm -hmm. I mean, when I met him, he was an atheist and I believe, and I was a Christian. Mm -hmm. So those aren't my, my credentials are being a decent human being. And now you've changed his mind. Well, about what? Not being an atheist. Um, yeah, I would say he believes in God now, mm -hmm. you know, maybe he always did, but Brits are sort of allergic to the idea of that mm -hmm. thing. But when you have kids, you want, you know, that's hard to have kids and not have something for them to no, to believe think it about. Also, believe that, you know, something created that right. beauty. Yeah. yeah. Trees, Everything. stuff, Life. animals. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask you a few uh, questions uh, that the audience gave us to ask you because okay. I wanted everybody to. What is your drink of choice? This is from Selena from uh, Omaha, Nebraska. What is your drink of choice? Is this an alcoholic drink? Uh, it just drink of choice. Oh. Um coffee and lots of it. Really? You drink a lot of coffee? Yeah, I do. Sometimes I drink Red Bull. It <laughs> really? <laughs> that's tough. Only, that's only when I'm desperate. Man. Okay, that's only when I have jet lag and I have a show and I have to wake up and I need some serious artificial stimulation. But I try not to do it very often because so I know. But I know, you're so really much about purity. I know, and I know, I know. But you, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. Yeah, I, get, I had one. I, I, I'd never had one before and I, I thought I was going to explode. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you do? This is my, my question. What's your passion besides your children and your family? And Horseback riding. It is? Yeah, I love it. And every single day you ride? I don't, because I don't have the time to, but uh -huh. if I have a day off, that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. And what's the name of your horse? Tom. Tom? Yeah. And what kind of horse is it? He's a Welsh cob. All right, we have to take another break, and then you have a huge announcement that I'm so excited about. Okay. Uh, we'll tell everybody. I'm not we'll be, pregnant, don't worry. That's well. <laughs> now they're not going to turn it off, because oh, that's I'm the sorry. main thing they were waiting to hear. Are you going to have more kids, do you think? Um, we're going to say that in the next part. No, that's something else. We'll yeah. say that too. All right, we'll be right back. I have to say. <laughs> We're back with Madonna, and I say that just in case you d aren't noticing the jacket. It's Madonna. Um, <laughs> And uh, I love that it, it's, it's amazing how people have followed each and every step that you've, you know, you, your journey has been a very interesting one. And, mm -hmm. and everybody has been with you every single step of the way. And I'm grateful for that. It's, it's great yeah, it because is. you have not, you're, you're so pushing the envelope all the time. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, obviously people love you for it, people hate you for it, but more people love you for it because you take chances. Well, I think pushing the envelope in, it, you know, is... Uh, I think if you decide that you're going to do that, you also have to accept that, you know, sometimes you're going to ruffle a few feathers. Yeah. That's okay. It's good yeah. to shake things up. Well, it's great. I yeah. mean, it's what forces, you know, if you don't do it, it nothing's going to change. If I don't do it, who's going to do it? Yeah. Right? That's right. <laughs>
Uh, let's let's tell them the big exciting announcement. I think it's it's great. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Um. Okay, I can't hide it anymore. Um. <laughs> Waiting to see um, what you're gonna say. <laughs> no, I'm I'm going on tour this summer. Yeah. Um, to commemorate this announcement, I think maybe um, Ellen and I should dance. Yes. Yeah. 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 What song? Um, well, do you have? Do you, I have a song I like to dance to? But do you have a favorite song of mine you'd like to dance to? Uh, I dance to your songs. The last five days, I've danced to every single one of your songs. So whichever, whichever. What? <laughs> Sorry. Is that it? You want to dance? Yes. Oh, we have to leave the beat. Yes. All right. Then, meanwhile, I'll say you can log on to our website and purchase a copy of Madonna's CD, which is doing so well. Confessions of a Dance on a Dance Floor. We'll be right back after this. Oh, I'm hitting.